Sup, I'm Evil Squeegee, and today I'm here to talk about armor in Path of Exile. There are three kinds of damage that you're likely to encounter on your journeys through Ray Class. There's Chaos Damage, Elemental Damage, and Physical Damage. The first two, Chaos and Elemental Damage, are negated for Resistances. Resistances are, very, are a very simple mechanic. If you have 75% Frost Resistance, you're going to be taking 75% less damage from every instance of Frost Damage that your character endures. Armor, however, is slightly more complicated. The formula for armor reduction actually takes into account the amount of damage being taken before it tells you how much it's going to reduce. It's worth noting that, before we get into this, the number on your character sheet, the one that says you have X amount of armor and it reduces by Y percent, that damage reduction is an actual estimate and is not a specific factual amount that is applied globally. Instead, that number is actually taking into account the average damage dealt by monsters of your character's level and calculating the amount of reduction it would apply if it took that much damage. That being said, the formula here, now on the screen, you can see that it actually takes, uh, the, the, the formula here is that it takes the amount of armor that you have and it divides that amount by an amount equal to armor plus 12 times the damage. So if you have 100 damage, that's 1200 damage plus armor, and then you divide your armor by that, and this will give you the percentage by which it multiplies the incoming damage. Some examples here. Let's say that we have 1000 armor, and we take 100 damage. It'll give us about 0.45 times the amount of damage taken. Now if we reduce that, let's say we only took 10 damage, we get 89% of that 10 damage off, or loosely about 2 damage taken. Now, if we jack this up to 600, you lose almost all that reduction, and you're only multiplying it by 10-12%. Uh, as a more obvious method of displaying it, this chart is actually being taken off of the wiki directly. The higher the number is at any given point, uh, the higher the line is at any given point in the chart, the more damage reduction you're getting. So that 100 is 0 vertical axis is the reduction, and the horizontal axis is therefore the amount of damage, and you can see the damage gets larger as the chart progresses to the right. And you can see that it dips really quickly. Now this is assuming 1200 armor, but this particular kind of uh, chart should give you an idea as to the kind of dip and, uh, and diminishing return that you'll see the higher the damage gets. This is important to note. My next question, as soon as I found out this, was where was armor most useful and where was armor least useful? The answer is that armor is most useful against a lot of little mobs that are all dealing physical damage. Examples of this can, uh, include squids in, say, the submerged passage, or archers in, like, the ledge, zombies, and so on in Fell Shrine Ruins. And it is least useful against very large physical bosses, such as Cole or Brutus, where you're taking very large hits, but you're taking them less frequently. Or at least you should be if you're doing things properly. The, d the amount of damage reduction on your sheet is a... I've already said that, that was a... an estimate. There's the word I'm... However, that doesn't mean that you should just ignore it. You can start to see how much armor is impacting your gameplay by taking pieces of gear on and off, and if you wanted to theorycraft ahead of time, you would need to know where the armor can come from. It's worth noting that armor itself is not actually increased by strength. Uh, whereas Energy Shield is increased by Intelligence, and Evasion is increased by Dexterity, Armor is not increased by Strength. Rather, Life is increased by Strength. So the only source you're going to have for your Armor score is your gear plus your passives. It is worth noting that calculating your Armor based on your gear can be done the quick and easy way, assuming bad gear, or the more complicated way, assuming better gear with magical affixes. However, I'll be getting into gear in a later video, so we're not going to talk about that very in-depth here. It's also worth noting that if you take the Iron Reflexes passive node, the, uh, the keystone on the southern half of Ranger, and on the uh, right side of, of the Duelist, that it converts all of your evasion to armor, and I'll actually be doing a video about that specific node later as well. 
This has been Evil Squeegee discussing armor in Path of Exile. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, criticisms, they're all welcome. You can contact me here on YouTube or you can contact me on Reddit. The name is Evil Squeegee on Reddit as well. And uh, I'm going to leave you here to watch my Fireball Marauder here take on... Uh, I can't even remember this dude's name. I don't have a clue. Either way, this has been Evil Squeegee, and I'll catch you next time.